because uh, that's what I get asked to show a lot rather than the version that I did because uh, I've basically done what Buckethead does when he plays live and that's all he just does is go down be, be, nat be natural minor scale <laughs> So this is the original version and I'll have to look at my tab because I can't remember it. So it starts off on your 7th fret on your B string so you're playing every note twice so it's two 7th frets on your B string, two F sharps. So it goes and then it's your 9th fret on your E string, then 10th fret on your E string. And 7th fret on your E string. Then go to your 12th fret on your E string. 10th fret on your E string. 9th fret on your E string. Then back to your 10th fret on your E string. Then it's 7th fret on your E string. Then it's 9th fret on your E string. Then it's your 7th fret on your B string, 10th fret on your B string, 8th fret on your B string, then 7th fret on your B string, then 8th fret on your B string, then 10th fret on your E string. Alright, all that together. This is where my version differs from the original one, so it might get a bit wobbly here. So, uh, da -da -da -da. then it's... Yeah, that's it. So it's two on your, like, like at the beginning, two on your seventh fret on your B string. That's two on seventh fret on your E string. So it's seventh fret on your B string, seventh fret on your E string, ninth fret on your E string, and then seventh fret on your B string again. Then it's tenth fret on your E string, and then twelfth fret on your E string, ninth fret on your E string, tenth fret on your E string. Then it's ninth fret on your E string. Then it's 10th fret on your B string. That's where we've got to so far. Then it's 7th fret on your B string. 8th fret, B string. 10th fret on your B string. 8th fret on your B string. 7th fret on your B string. Then 7th fret on your G string. So that bit. bit starts off and it's two on your uh, ninth fret on your D string then two on your seventh fret on your G string then it's ten on your B string two on your nine on your D string two on your seven on your G string and then it's two on your eight they say nine before ten so it's 10 on your, on your B string, then it's 8 on your B string, okay, so next bit after you've done your 2 on your, on your 8 on your B string is 2 on your 7 on your B string, then it's 2 on your 9 on your G string, then Back to your 7 on your B string again, and then it's 2 on your 7 on your G string. That's as 
far mm -hmm. we've got with that bit so far and then it's up to your 12th fret on your B string and then 10th fret on your B string and back to your 12th again then it's your 9th fret on your G string then it's your 11th fret on your G string and then it's your 10th fret on your B string so that bit is all together that bit next bit uh, which I can't remember yeah I think that's right Two on your eighth fret on your B string, then two on your seventh on your G string, then two on your ninth on your G string, uh, on your D string. Uh, so I'll have to look at tab here. Then you go back to your seventh, uh, and it's I think it's your to tenth, and then it's. G9th on your E string, and then G10th on your E string, and then 12th on your E string, 14th on your E string, and then 15th on your B string, 14th on your B string, 12th on your B string, 10th uh, on your B string. I think, I think, I think it finishes there. Yeah, so that's all that bit. Uh, probably confuse you with it. But if you wanted to do, you could just play uh, up and down your B natural minor scale. That's kind of like what I do. bit when it gets into good stuff <coughs> something like that uh, so that little motif is starting off on your ninth fret on your D string so this is all picked this and then it's your 11th fret on your D string and then to 12th fret on your D string now with your second finger you go into you're skipping a string here so you're skipping your G string out completely and then you go into your your A there which is your 10th fret on your B string so that's it and it just repeats do from your 11th fret here uh, and then you're doing a half bend so you're bending from your uh, F sharp to G and then you're bending from your from your C sharp to your D on your G string and I think I do some of that and just repeats it again a little bit different on, on this this one here instead of doing your bends so it's you've got so it's uh, 11th fret on your G string hammering on and then to your 12th fret on your G string pull, pulling off to your 11th again then back to your 12th on your G string, then it's 12th on your 